Hey everybody, uh, I'm up the river at uh, 6.30 this morning, which would actually be 5.30, because the clocks have gone back. Uh, would it be? Oh, do you know what, I don't know what time it would be, I know the dog woke me up, he wanted to go out, and uh, I was sat there thinking it was... Uh, one time and it was another but hey ho very wet I'm afraid we've had a hell of a lot of rain a hell of a lot loads and loads in fact and there's still rain clouds looming at the minute uh, got a couple of ducks that I keep wandering they're fo following us up the river they think they're going to get some food but I haven't got any unfortunately um, yeah, what can I say? Sorry I have not been around uh, a lot, guys. Um, uh, what with work and everything else just lately, it's been pretty much nigh impossible. Um, it's like today, I've got a lot to do today. Uh, an awful lot. Uh, I bought a machine home to clean our carpets. That's got to be done. Um, God, this water is really high. Let's have a look at, uh, let's go down here by the, the edge of the river. Oh, yeah, I've not had any time for fishing or motorbikes or anything. There's some fish in there as well. Nice fish. Big fish. Yeah, you'll see him jump in a minute. Yeah, some big old fish out there. Uh, yeah, I've not had any time for anything. As I said to you, uh, God, what, three months back, I just started a new job. Um, obviously, I've had a going to get him off the mud and bring him down here. Come down here, pup. Yeah, I've had a lot to do. Um, you know what it's like when you start a new job, regardless of whether you've been doing the same job for 30 years or whatever. Um, you still got to do all their, all their processing to, to get you on, on their systems and what have you. Um, I couldn't use forklift for the first... Uh, few few weeks or basically nearly the first month um, until they could get someone down to train me on forklift which I've done so many times um, it's un unreal but it, even that has changed so much it's now it's um, oh, it's just not even so much driving the forklift it's more and more and more uh, paperwork and uh, risk assessments and this and that and God knows what else and it's just ridiculous um, they don't actually even take much notice of how good you are on a forklift or, or anything uh, I mean I've been riding forklifts now for God let's try and work this out uh, uh, it must be close on to 30 year, nearly, I would have thought. Um, and I've only ever had one blue blue. Um, and that was a, a, a pack of timber that was uh, absolutely sopping wet and uh, decided it wanted to slide one way when I was trying to go the other. But that's, you know, that's like you get used to stuff. Uh, um, yeah, no, do you know what, I've, all this time I haven't done a video and uh, I haven't got a great, ugh, yuck, I haven't got a great deal to say to be honest with you, um, yeah, there's been loads of things I wanted to do, I have got work to do on the little motorbike I've got, I've got to change the rear, um, exhaust can um, the one that's on there keep, keep you know it keeps coming loose uh, 
and it's kind of split the back bracket on it um, and I've got to get a reducer uh, sorry uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah it's like a reducer type system because um, I've got another back can to go on it um, so it's got to get a, like a just reducer thing uh, it goes from one can down to the existing pipe I suppose you could call that is it a reducer or, or is it it's like a little extension thing anyway I found somewhere that's got one but I just haven't had time to go and get it to be honest with you um, but once I get that I'll get that sorted out um, I've got things to do I just haven't had the time to do I'm contemplating soon getting another another van as soon as I can um, and turning that into another camper because it is nice to be able to go out in a, in a, in a camper and uh, you can pull up, you haven't got to worry about finding toilets, you haven't got to worry about finding cafes and you can go in the back of beyond with one of them to be honest with you and you know take in stuff that other people don't see sometimes um do you know it's ever so wet out here <laughs> it's ever so wet out here um yeah i'm letting pup pup have a run round he's not very, been very well he's had a bit of a bad tummy he's had a bit of an upset stomach unfortunately uh, so I'm letting him eat some grass and everything the natural way for doggies to settle their stomach um, we didn't let him have any food or anything last night he was uh, he went with he went out with uh, sorry he didn't have anything uh, last night we just reduced him down he's a bit of a nibbler bit of a grazer you coming pup pup you coming yeah I tried to do uh, a couple of little videos we went out a few weeks back to a little railway museum not far from where we live I did a couple tried to do a couple of little videos as I said I really just haven't had the time and even today is going to be uh, sort of touch and go that's why I'm kind of doing something now so you guys know I am actually still around um, and you, uh, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers and people like that who have been hanging on with baiting breath waiting for me to do another fishing video and things like that and uh, unfortunately as I said I just haven't had the time um, and the weather really hasn't been on our side down here we've had an awful lot of rain it's very well you can see by where I am at the moment it is just a muddy track and that's where you get all the old farmers and things come up here and they just churn it all up but uh, everywhere is just so so muddy it's really bad in fact um, yeah there's the old moon out up there full moon we're not far off of Halloween um, we, we was going to try and go out and do a couple of ghost hunting videos we, we've been out and we've done some ghost hunting but only a, a little bit to be honest with you um, <coughs> did actually get some results um, but it was incredibly difficult to sort of try and uh, video it and do all that at the same time uh, as you know I only ever work off my um, work off my phone I don't uh, don't have all the sophisticated film equipment and stuff that some of these people do uh. Right, let's get down here a bit because it's so muddy. I just want to try and get past these muddy, muddy piles and what have you. Um, 
Yeah, so I have been extremely, uh, extremely busy at, at work. The little, the little builders merchants that I've gone to. Um, it's a very busy little branch. It's a very busy little branch. Um, very enjoyable though, I will say that, compared to the place I was at last time. That was, that was too busy and it was beyond anybody's comprehension. Um, the way they, they were trying to run it uh, just was not working and it did, did not matter how much you tried to tell them it wasn't working. They pushed and pushed for even more and uh, it made for a lot of very unhappy bunnies, unfortunately. Well, anyway, I got out while the going was good and uh, <coughs> I've gone back to a firm that I used to work for years back and uh, <coughs> it's much better. It's busy, yeah, but nowhere near like I was before. Um, the stress levels are, well, pretty much zero, to be honest with you. There, there is no, there is no stress as such. The only stress you would get there is what you make yourself. Um, and, and I will say life's been very difficult just lately, very difficult with the, with the cost of living and God knows what else. It's, um, been very, very difficult. I don't know if I'm going to keep the motorcycle. I don't think I am because, as I said, we've already got one little car and we want to get a van as well. Um, if I have any other motorcycles, it will be basically like I've been doing, where I just pick up an old motorcycle, do it up and uh, do some videos or fun videos or whatever from that you know working out stuff and uh, and then moving them on anyway guys I am gonna say bye for now it's been a bit of a hit and miss video this one unfortunately but just to let you know I am still there and I do appreciate everybody's uh, support for my channel and you've not had anything to look at at all and uh, I, I really do uh, apologize for that but as i say i just hadn't had the time so i'll say bye for now guys love to you all and uh, i hope you're okay see you later